And my name is Ulrich Brakel, and I'm a professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin in Milwaukee. My research really focuses on uh, cardiovascular disease for a disease which is not that well known, but actually quite prevalent, and it's left ventricular hypertrophy. Left ventricular hypertrophy is an increase of the weight of the muscle of the heart. With any muscle, the heart, when it exercises hard, you know, it increases in weight and thickness. When the heart has to work harder, this hypertrophy develops. It's really a pre-stage and can lead over long periods of time to heart failure. We really want to understand how genetic variation and certain mutations in genes really play a role. We performed genome-wide association studies in some of the cohorts we've been studying and really came up with a you know, reasonably large number of potential genes which have increased the risk in the patient cohorts. Uh, but with any of the genetic studies, you basically just end up with a statistical p-value of a variant in a particular gene. It doesn't really tell you exactly how does this variant functions, how it increases the risk or it protects the heart, how it plays into all these different mechanisms which lead to uh, hypertrophy and so we really wanted to and we I think we need to in a, even in a genetics field we need to move on to really um, study more functional impact and the functional impact of gene variants. The big challenge you know for, for us um, you know in the cardiovascular field compared to other fields was the really the limitation of not being able to have cardiac tissue. So cardiac tissue there's like one cell line out there which is commercially available or is available um, and you can use animal model. These cells really won't allow you to really, you know, add the genetic information. And when you study the disease, you have to be where, you know, at, you know, at a place where the disease happens. And the only platform I can think of to really address this question are stem cells, induced pluripotent stem cells in particular. And the advantage, obviously, of induced pluripotent stem cells is that you can derive and get these cells from your patients with a particular disease. And then you can really capture all its genetic risk and really have them the patient in a petri dish and can study the disease in your lab. And so I think it's a really very logical next step to functional studies and really understanding how genes work, how gene variation impacts disease. We actually compared the expression pattern in the I-cell cardiomyocytes from data what we have from actual biopsies of the heart. There's quite a stunning overlap in expression patterns. It was a great addition to our research um, techniques, being able to, to collaborate with CDI, and it really you know, lets us just accelerate our research substantially. Using iPS cells really, in my opinion, changed the field how we, um, how we can address um, scientific questions, particularly as we study um, cardiomyocytes. Being able to get almost unlimited amounts of cardiomyocytes and even then patient-specific cardiomyocytes will really change, I think, the field. I think it will be a tremendous new opportunity and, and I can see in the near future that a lot of other groups are, are moving into this and really using this technology um, for their particular research interests.